you're equipped with the dry box spreader, these buttons are not going to be functional. This is going to be your master switch, which will turn your belt on and off to begin applying or stop. And this is your shift button, which will shift up to your preset speeds. On the side is buttons one and two. Two will be your auto track resume button. This is your rate selector to switch between preset rates or prescription or manual. This button will turn on your hydraulic pump to enable the spinners. This one is not used on a spreader. These four buttons are your throttle. This is going to return it to an idle. This is going to run it at high throttle. And this will bump up and down in between. These three buttons are presets if you have cameras installed. This is your traction control which will direct the flow to the tires that are not slipping if you're starting to get stuck. These two are your tread adjust. This is your road mode which will disable some of the spreader functions for going down the road. This is your ladder, raise and lower the ladder. This is your parking brake. And this here will also engage the parking brake if, for an emergency situation. If your hydro handle and your brake, your foot brake can't stop the machine, you can turn this knob and it will engage the parking brake. But you will need to service your parking brake after that. On the side here, these buttons are not used on a spreader. This is your climate control, your temperature and your fan speeds air conditioning. This is also part of your climate control uh, which vents are used. This is your hazard flashers, your beacon, light presets, and your radio controls. On your tread adjust page there are some presets in here for your preset widths. If you need something different you can go into new, set your widths so you want and then save that as one of the presets except then to change the width make sure the vehicle is moving select your preset and then hit the in and button depending on which way you need to move set up the documentation you can go to your menu green star check your resources make sure you have your client farm field and task crop season filled out Check your equipment, make sure you have your offsets correct. Then we'll go to the document page. And here we have a couple options. If you're only applying a single product, like UEA or something. Add product, product type, fertilizer, product name, new, UEA, accept. Accept that, you'll know, have your product in there. Your target rate comes from the spreader controls. If you're doing a uh, blend, you use a tank mix. First, you have to add a carrier, which will be dry fertilizer. Your base rate is a total amount applied. So if we're going to do a blend of 5 pounds of MMS, 5 pounds of urea, total will be 200. Then we'll add our products. Product type, fertilizer, product name, urea, a rate, pounds per acre. Product, product type, fertilizer, name, new, MS, units, pounds per acre, accept, accept, 
and our target rate comes from the controller here. Ready. On the spreader main page, we've got four performance monitor boxes. We can change to view different options. Below that, we have our three preset rates, which you change with the knob on the armrest. All the way down is a prescription. And then all the way up is gonna be your manual belt speed where you type in a speed for the belt to spin. Below that is gonna show your actual applied rate. It's gonna show bin one, urea, and the pounds per acre you're applying. Below there, you're gonna have your total material applied. The next one down, is your current spinner speed and your target speed. Okay. We're setting up the spreader. Your vehicle setup, this is where we're gonna reset your service hours. You can select your speed source. You can use wheel speed, radar speed, or GPS speed. Got your spreader set up. We're in a single bin spreader, which you can select dual bin. Product setup. You can save up to six products. Product one we have set up as urea. Our units is pounds per acre. Spread width is 80 feet. Density is 48 pounds per cubic foot. This is where our three preset rates come from. And these are the cubic foot per revolution calibrations. Feed gate opening and your spinner speed and fan frame. Your bin set up is we're going to tell it we're spreading product one, which is urea. The bin is enabled. Here we can set up the alarms. This will let you know if your spinner is plus or minus 10% off the target speed. Same for the rate and the density. Before heading to the field, you're going to want to do a product calibration. Go to your calibration button, product calibration. We're going to calibrate product number one, which is our urea. This is our expected cubic feet per revolution. This is density. It's, imp it's an important number. You're going to be sure to measure that. This is the feed gate opening during calibration. This doesn't change that. It's just a reminder that we have it set at two inches. And this is the desired weight of the product. So we want to run out 500 pounds. Except. And then to start the calibration, enable your hydraulics. Turn on your master switch. The screen will start to pump, count up what it thinks it's applying. Once you're done, you measure the actual weight of the product and enter it here and you'll get a new cubic feet per revolution. Then hit accept. To start spreading, enable your hydraulic pump, throttle up. Select your desired rate, turn on your master switch, 